What's up, F4A squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Today, guys, I'm just going to be making a simple curry chicken um, with some rice. <clears throat> I like to use this curry from the Asian store. For a couple of white potatoes, I'm gonna cut up and put in there. And this by far is my best rice that I like. I've tried the jasmine, the uh, I think it's basmatic. I love this Thai humali rice from Walmart. It's jasmine Thai rice. This rice cooks up so good. Ah, love it, love it. I'll show you guys what it looked like after I finish. Got my water boiling, it's almost done. I'm gonna do two cups of rice. So I'll go ahead and get that ready. You always have to be extra cautious when you're cooking in a car, even something as simple as opening up this rice if i pull it too hard it can psh, and i have rice grains all over the place so i'm gonna try to sit this in my lap all right we're gonna do uh Two cups now unfortunately I'm not going to be able to rinse this rice off Alrighty, I'm just going to give that a good stir. And now, I'm going to turn it down really low. until the rice, I mean the water, go ahead and evaporate and then this rice is gonna be good. It's a cross between like a sticky rice and I guess not sticky rice, if that makes any sense. All right, so while the rice is getting done, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some potatoes here, which you're not going to be able to see. As always, whenever I cook and I'm on the driver's side, it's a little more challenging and because I don't have the room that I am used to having. So I bought these little white potatoes and it's a little bit awkward. So I'll go ahead and prep these up. I really wasn't even going to cook today. And then I thought, you know what? I have nothing for lunch. And I really like when I pre-cook food and I have 
lunch and I don't have to worry about it for two or three days. These are some nice looking potatoes, boy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down a little bit lower. Okay, I think I may have turned it down a little bit too much. Oh God, please don't tell. Please don't tell me I ran out of this. Oh my gosh, please don't tell me because I'm not in a position to put all this stuff away and then I didn't even have this one in here that long. Oh, you know what? I can't take it out. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at these potatoes. Really nice. All right. I'm gonna run some water on these potatoes. But not yet, because I don't want them to brown out. All right. All right, guys, the rice is done. It looks really good. Now it's time to start on the curry chicken. All right, guys, the rice is done and it is out of the pot and into this little holding uh, bowl here. Now I'm going to work on the curry chicken. What I have here, I already cut this chicken up when I bought it from the grocery store over the weekend and seasoned it. So it's already prepared to just be cooked. So it is a uh, chicken thighs, as you guys know, that is my preferred uh, cut of chicken. I love the chicken thighs. I'm gonna start doing that all the time. When I buy some meats, just go ahead and prep it already. Got some minced garlic. Now I left my can opener in the storage facility, so uh, can't use my chicken stack, so I have to use water. All right, these comes in, come in two of these, which are cut up into four pieces. I like to use all four of them in one pot. That could be overload, <laughs> but I was using one, I mean, two of them the first time when I started using the, these and I felt like it wasn't giving me the flavor that I wanted. So I started just using so you can break them up there. I like to sit them in there and believe it or not, these will thicken up the liquid in there as they cook. So you don't really need like flour or anything. All right, gonna throw the potatoes in there. Good to go. Also, love my broccoli. So we're gonna put some broccoli in there. that all right now I have to use some water
And that's going to do it. That's going to do it. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Nothing else to do until this gets done. All right, guys, after about, excuse me, after about 40 minutes, the carry is done. The potatoes are soft now. The sauce is at the right consistency that I like. There you go. Lots of uh, sauce to put over the rice. All right, guys, that's gonna uh, wrap it up for today's video. Um, like I said, this is for my lunch. I'm not really going to eat any of it right now. It's really too hot for me to even taste right now. And I gotta get moving and get ready to uh, head to work. All right, guys, as always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys, you know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.